Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see question from June 2015 consisting of 4.75 marks. Right? The question says, if x, y and z, these are given to be the elements of a group such that this condition holds that x, y, z is equal to 1, then they are asking which among these four is correct. Right? So uh, to solve or to answer this question, you must know uh, uh, this algebraic structure group. So what is a group? Group is an algebraic structure where it is applied on some set together with a binary operation. What is a binary operation? Basically, that takes two number and gives one number, right? And that number also belongs to the same set from which the other two numbers were taken. So these, uh, this uh, structure form a group whenever we have the property of associativity. What is that? That means you, if you take any two elements, say A, B, C from the group, then A star B star C should be equal to A star B star C, right? And the second property is that there exist identity element. What is that? We call it by E. That means for every element G belongs to G. We take any, ele any element from this set G. Then uh, that element when it is operated with the ele uh, identity element gives back the element itself that or we can also say this identity operator when this identity element when operated with this uh, element g gives back g so this is this element is known as the identity element the third property is what existence of inverses what what does this say that means if you take any element g belongs to g then g star something that something we call as g inverse should give you identity back that means when you apply this operator on two two elements and you obtain e in that case we say that one is inverse of other or in other words we can also say g inverse star g is equal to e Right? These are the property and the property of closure is uh, applicable when the given operation is, we are saying it is a binary operation. Right? So it comes under that only. So now coming back to our question, we are given x, y, z is equal to 1. So now uh, they, do, uh, they have not specified which uh, set we are given and which operation we are given. So can you see from here which operation we are given? Clearly they are multiplied together, right? These three elements are from the set of uh, set G which is not known to us. So we will treat them as variables, right? And they are multiplied together that means this operation is multiplication over here, right? So now the only properties that we can work are these, right? So let us see how uh, which which of the options is correct. Now here you see we have x dot y dot z. So we can apply the brackets over here like this, and it is equal to one. Do you know this? One, what is one? One is the identity of multiplication. Mul this is the multiplicative identity, right? Because when you multiply any element by 1, you will get that element back. Right? So this we know already. So now from here, can you say, say anything? From here we can conclude that x into y inverse is equal to z. That means when you multiply these two, you will get the identity operator back. So in other words, you can also write this as z into x y is equal to 1 because they are the inverses of each other if x y is the inverse of z so z inverse is also x y so we can also write this so from here we have z x y is equal to 1 so this is the third option right what else can we do 
Now, in the previous case, we took x into y into z. Now, you can take this to be like this. That means you can change the bracket here over y and z is equal to 1. Now, in this case, x inverse is equal to yz. Or in other words, you can say yz inverse is equal to x. This is one and the same thing, right? So, in this case, you can also write this thing to be equal to yz and then x. This is equal to 1. So, we have this result. yzx is equal to 1. So, this is the correct option, right? What about these two? Now, these two are not correct options. Why? Because you see over here, we cannot do perform any other operation onto this. For example, if you take y, x, z. Now, we have gotten y, z, x. Now, this was possible if the given group, if the given group was commutative, in that case, we would uh, have uh, written x, z is equal to zx is equal to xz and this, then this term yzx is equal to 1 would become yxz is equal to 1. But this is not the case as a given group is not commutative in nature. Therefore, this option is not correct. Similarly, the same thing over here. If you, uh, if you were given the property of commutativity, then you can commute these two and then you would get the result. But in this case, this is not the case. Therefore, the only correct options are option A and option C. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.